first thing you would need to do is simply scroll down to your settings on your phone. Once you're at the system settings, you'll be provided with different system settings. You need to click the internet sharing option. Once you select the internet sharing option, there is an SSID and a password. You could choose to create your own SSID and password, but I have remained to leave the same. And once you simply turn on the internet sharing, you have to make sure you have a data connection on your phone, either it could be 3G or 4G. Once you have that data sharing on, you need to be on T-Mobile's at least $50 a month plan in order to get the sharing. If you're on the $30 a month plan, there's a trick which I'll show in my next video. So once you have this simply turned on, you need to head up to a Wi-Fi enabled device and simply enter the SSID and password. So once you have you found your SSID, you need to simply connect to the SSID or network name. So you can see here, my name is Nokia Lumia 521-7859. So you need to simply click connect. And once you have connected, you need to pop up to your URL browser. You can see here, I have Google Chrome. Let me open up Google Chrome here real quick. And as you can see here, it simply pops up my page on Chrome and you can simply head up to any website. So for here, I'm gonna go on Techno Buffalo and it brings up Techno Buffalo. It's fairly fast on the HSPA Plus, so you simply need to check your speeds. If you wanna see how fast your speeds are, simply go on speedtest.net. And as you can see here, it's going to bring up the speed test application. As you can see here, it loaded. Let's do a quick speed test. And this is the speeds that you'll be getting for the HSPA Plus, depending on your area. The fastest speeds I have expected or seen is up to 14 megabits a second and a 2 megabit upload. As you can see here, it's running, run, running the ping right now. As you can see, the ping varies. It's a little high. It's at 2 megabits for OK, as you can see there. That's the speed right there. And it's not one of the fastest, but it's great in the area I am right now. It's faster than my home DSL connection, so I'm glad for the speeds that I'm getting right now. I have nothing really to say about it. So that's how to create a mobile hotspot on the Nokia Lumia 521. Stay tuned for much more videos. In my upcoming next videos, I will feature Windows 8.1 on the Nokia Lumia 521, as well as Windows Cortana on the Windows phone.